So are you going to speak to him? Or is it going to be me? Okay. Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do cloning, but not Don't in the video. Don't sit there. I'm going to show you how to do it on your camera. So, quite simple, How really. Am I supposed it take to long. do this? I mean, obviously, you do. the first thing you do need, you need Don't Photoshop. Me. I'm going to be using Photoshop CS6. But I'm sure other editions are about the same. And I I don't go by the rules, oh, no. it's the way I do it. I find it simple. What you see on YouTube, most of them go by the rules. I, I do it slightly it's different. Too much attention to the table things of pressing the key. He is trying whatever. to speak. But In this photograph, I've cloned myself three times. What you will need, camera that takes RAW, tripod and Photoshop. Find a place to take your shots. If you've got a partner, great. If not, use the timer on your camera. Make sure drawing the shots, the camera setting is the same and the light around you is too. Upload the images to your computer or Mac. Open up in Photoshop, load all the images to RAW editor and make your adjustments. All the images will be the same, then save them back into file. Now you're ready to edit. Okay, so in Photoshop you go into file, open, so you're going to open up your images, blah de blah, I've called it test file, so click all three images, open them up, one two three, so what you do with the right image, just drag it onto the second one. Doesn't matter too much, usually they go into place, but if they don't, so what you do, go over to here, opacity, not, pretty, not very good at words, me, and you just bring the image down, so you bring it up, see? So what I'm gonna do, the, the guy, that's me again, the guy on the right there is I'm going to make that appear. So I'll go over to the razor, or the rubber as I call it. Um, right, okay, so what we need to do is bring up the size of that. I keep, I always use the brushes blurred. Um, so usually when it's only fine detail, I usually have a sharp brush, but most of the time it's just... Uh, just on the blur, and then just go around the figure. You can see what needs to be erased, and as you're going over it, it's appearing onto the photograph. That's about it. So he's appeared now. Okay. So I go back over to the, here, bring it full up. And what I do now is go into layers because it is a layer, flatten the image, and now it's all done. So then I'll do it again, the second image, drag it down and drag it onto the third first image, I should say. Go back over again, do the same thing again. Right, as you can see, when I put it on top, it wasn't in line. So just, yeah, that's in. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm going to do the guy, me again, on the steps. But this time, if you notice, there's a bit of a clash with the shoes there. So I'm just going to bring it up a bit. And also, Tess is running up the stairs. I've got a feeling that the rubber is going to be, or the razor, it's going to be a little bit big, but it's right for the moment. And what I like about it, it's got a bit, gives it a bit of movement as well. It's on his tail up there. Right, I'm going to go, go round me. Here we go. Very good. Right, but making sure um, you don't go over to the other character on the right there because if you do that, um, 
you, you'd be actually rubbing them out. So what you have to do then is just go back on yourself just to correct that. Right, so we're doing that all right. Bring it down. You'll see what I mean in a minute because it's just where the shoes clash. So the guy that's sitting down, his shoes actually going to be in front of the other image. So what I do then, just downsize the eraser a bit. That might be enough. A little bit more. It doesn't take long really. See what I mean? You can just see where the shoe is anyway. Bring it up. I mean, to get more finer, you could make the image even larger. I'll just where where I'm sat down there, it it does cast a bit of a shadow. So you just just go around the edges a bit. Just bring it up a bit more. Right. Yeah. 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 Just check it. Just check it all. Okay. Then bring it up to fit screen. Go back over to here. Bring it up full size. Onto the layer, flatten image, so it's one image again now. What I do then, I save as, save as, make it 9522A, save it, okay it. Now you're probably asking, so you're finished then? And the answer to that is, no, I haven't finished. So, of course, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open it up again. Because um, your eye's not really drawn to it. So, go over to the crop tool. Just crop it a bit, you know. Bring it over there. Might bring it up a bit more there. Yeah. I mean, you can straighten it if you want, but that seems all right. So, there you are.